Hi YouTube, my name is Maureen and welcome to Reen Reads. I am outside of my room today because um, I'm actually home alone. I am going to be watching the dog. So I get to be at home today, so that's why I'm going to be downstairs, actually sitting up, not in my bed. Um, I've been reading a lot of books really, really fast lately. And I've been doing, if you guys are Instagrammers or if you guys, anybody that watches this follows me on Instagram, I do my Instagram name down below. I follow someone named Spellbound Books, and right now she is doing a book challenge. And I think her and he or she, I think it's she, yeah. Her intention was to do the book challenge a whole year. Um, I think she's about maybe six books in, but I wanted to do it along with the other things that I decided to read. So this was the first book in her book challenge. And it is, um, I'm going to be doing a review on it today, sorry guys. The book is called Queer, and I love the cover art. It is fucking fantastic. Uh, and this is by William S. Burroughs. And not to be confused with Augustus, Augustin, Augustin Burroughs, um, is another Burroughs. But William Burroughs was from, you know, the Beatnik crew, um, piled around with Jack Kerouac a lot, um, Charles Gimberg. Ginsburg, Allen Ginsburg, Charles G Charles Lindbergh, Allen Ginsburg is who I meant. That is embarrassing. Um, Allen Ginsburg, you know, that whole crew, he piled around with them. Um, I, to be honest with you, I think the story behind the book is a lot more interesting than the book itself, although the book is very good. Um, originally this book was written in 1952. Uh, but it was not published until 1985. Um, and this is kind of William Burroughs writing about himself. Uh, this book follows a man named Lee, who is uh, an expatriate in Mexico City, Mexico. And he meets a man named Allerton. And it kind of follows their relationship or their not-so relationship. Um, Lee really wants to be with Allerton. Allerton kind of reciprocates feelings at first, but then doesn't. Um, and so it's a pretty heartbreaking story. Um, kind of just follows what the gay population was doing in that time. Um, I'm not not to say I'm into gay literature, which I don't have anything against it, but lately that's kind of what books I've been reading lately. Um, it's crazy interesting um let's tell you a little bit about the history of this um this is kind of meant to be a uh like a sister novel with um William S. Burroughs other book Junkie Junkie was actually written first and Queer was kind of like an afterthought or Queer was written first and then Junkie was an afterthought uh you know Junkie is about pretty pretty much Lee like on heroin and drugs and then queer is kind of what happens after he can't find the drugs and doesn't do them and needs something else to supplement that feeling. Um, this book was being edited and written around the time where apparently William S. Burroughs is being accused of shooting his wife, which um, you know, a lot of it's very interesting. If you want to know anything more about it, I would suggest going on Wikipedia, looking at the novel Queer itself and um, William S. Burroughs because it's a very cool part of our history or part of our literary history here in America. That was me smashing my laptop. Um, but this book, I can show you the text. Um, it's on the bigger side, but like there's decent sized gaps in between the pages. It's not like it fills up the whole page. Um, there are chapter breaks, which is nice. Must admit, there's a whole introduction in the beginning that tells you about the whole history. Pretty much everything that you would need to know about William S. Burroughs writing this book, which is really cool and really informative. Um, there's a whole bunch of notes, too, from, this is actually a notated edition, so you can actually go and, like, look at, like, the, um, the numbers themselves and read about what, like, if it was edited or added later. Um, but all together with the notes, appendix, and everything, 
whole book comes to 150 pages. So definitely a quick read. I read this in one day total, like just one day it was done. Uh, it was very quick. I love the cover art. It's just so beautiful. Um, uh, it's the 20th anniversary edition. Penguin classic. Uh, and this on the back, William Burroughs. Very, very awesome. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much what I have to say about this book. Uh, I did not buy this for $15. I got it for super cheap on Amazon. And that's what I recommend to all of you. If you're going to buy books, uh, you can buy them new when they come out. I just prefer to buy them used because um, that's how I roll. I usually buy stuff on sale. So that's about it for Queer. Um, you guys definitely want to check it out. You should. All right, guys. And YouTube. Until we meet again.